everybody, how you doing? Dave here. I'm a top dasher. Here you can see my numbers, uh, well over a 4.7 uh, customer rating, I'm at a 5. 85% acceptance rate, you only have to be 70. I had 377 deliveries under my belt, 200 lifetime plus 100 for last month. That makes me a top dasher for the month of October. I did not see this until the end of the day on the 1st. Uh, when I got up in the morning and opened up the app, there was nothing there. And I thought, well, maybe as a new guy, the 200 lifetime deliveries plus the additional 100 deliveries for the prior month, maybe you couldn't do that all in one month. But apparently you can. I finished off uh, my shift, and it, this is what popped up. And it was also located underneath account in the menu. So maybe if I'd gone there, I would have seen it. But anyway, doesn't matter. I'm a top dasher. So let's take a look at the reward. I clicked the link and it said, you know, see your rewards here. And this is what I get. Uh, dash anytime. You're welcome to dash. No mention about winning the coin flip during slow times, but that's okay. But I have since discovered another perk, if you will. So here we are on the schedule page, and as you see, I've got a 12-hour shift from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. pre-scheduled for Monday the 4th. But take a look below that. All the zones in my immediate area, which is pretty much the state of Iowa, are all showing the full-day customizable option. Ames, Boone, Altoona, Ankeny, and on down the list. I am not seeing those one and a half, two hour chunks that are the only ones that are available currently. So apparently, while yes, I am able to dash now without having to have a preset or prearranged schedule, I can also apparently personalize schedule anytime I want as a top dasher. In addition to that, if you've scheduled out two or three days, you've probably seen the same thing as I have. You get more than about three days out. So in this case, let's say Friday the 8th, I would usually see Carroll, Iowa for some reason or other, but nothing else. And then if I went to Saturday, it would say, oops, nothing meets your criteria, maybe change your filters. Those are gone. I can schedule out as far as the calendar shows, which in this case is all the way to Friday the 8th. So it appears that the top dasher rewards are dashing anytime you want without prearranging a schedule and being able to prearrange a schedule for any time you want, including further out than anybody else. Uh, one other possible benefit, now this just could be it's a big college game day on Saturday when I record this. Tomorrow, Sunday, the 3rd, uh, a lot more peak pay promotions than I've ever seen before for Ames and at different times. Is that a perk of being a top dasher? Unknown, but uh, it'll be interesting to see, see how that works out from week to week. If I don't see it next week, you know, and it's a home game or whatever, you know, I, I'm not sure. So, but yeah, the peak pays usually in Ames are only from 9 p.m. to midnight and midnight to 3 a.m. They have one tomorrow morning during the uh, brunch crowd, if you will, 8 to 11. I may do that at a $150 peak pay after I do my uh, Des Moines Register roll route, come home, take a quick nap, and then get up and uh, do some dashing. Hey, extra buck fifty per job, hell yeah. I now have 27 customers that have left me a five-star review. I think that taking that picture and then having that sticker on there, you know, say, enjoy your order, please remember to rate your driver, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I think that is working. Uh, you know, it's not grabbing a lot of them, but one or two a day, that's fantastic. Had a great day Friday, October 1st, looking at the numbers here. Boy, if I could match this every day, that'd be fantastic. Pretty low miles, good pay, good runs all day. Now, was this because I was a top dasher? You know, who knows? Like I said, there's some uh, evidence out there that suggests that top dashers get better offers. We'll have to see how that plays out over the next month. My local UPS driver contacted me by text the other day and says, Hey, call in. They're uh, taking... Uh, uh, UPS PVD driver. So I called in the supervisor, Mark, and he answered the phone. You want in? You know, he's got my number saved. And I said, hell yeah. So we chatted a little bit. Unsure which way it's going to go. Last year, I was only getting about four or five hours per day versus the previous year, which was eight to ten. It all depends on package load. How many of you crazies are out there uh, burning up the credit card 
online sales. So with uh, DoorDash, I can go run a few hours in the morning, do the UPS. I can even run a few hours in the afternoon if I want. So this is going to be a perfect scenario for me. Lawn mowing is really slowing down. Things are starting to get kind of cool, and the grass isn't growing that great. You know, with the drought, we had a few raindrops the other day. But anyway, uh, month of October here, you know, the previous month I was in Ankeny a, a fair amount. I was in Boone a fair amount doing my tests, yada, yada. So now this is going to be all aims. I, you notice that I had that 12-hour day reserve, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. I probably won't work the whole thing unless the numbers are absolutely fucking fantastic. I'm going to roll as long as I can. So I'm kind of playing around with a possible strategy of trying to pull as many hours I can in the first four days, Monday through Thursday, and then have a three-day weekend. Sounds like a sweet deal, doesn't it? All right, guys and gals, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for coming along for the ride, and hope to see you next time.